Welcome back, folks. Welcome back. Thanks for hanging with us through the break. We are excited about a very, very cool guest that we'll have a chance to speak with here just uh, in a minute. But if you've got questions, you know the deal. You can call or text those questions to 214-310-0008, or you can always go online to toddtremonteteam.com, where you can access past radio shows, recommended pros, online educational videos, get your home value. All of that starts online at toddtremonteteam.com. Yep, and as always, this first segment is brought to you by our friend Patrick Gleros over at Cardinal Financial. Like we've told you for years, Patrick has built a team just like we've built a team over here. He's putting people in position to succeed using their God-given gifts and abilities, and that is something that we're so excited to be uh, be a part of with Patrick. Uh, we love what they're doing. Uh, we have used Patrick multiple times. Todd has. So many of our clients have. And he continues to provide amazing world-class service in the world of mortgages and lending. You can go to patrickgleros.com for more information. You can call 972-728-3420, patrickgleros.com, NMLS number 308-804. All right. I'm excited to introduce our audience uh, to a person and an institution. So, uh, we have a chance to chat today with uh, Jasmine Bayless, who's the head of school at Lewis Christian Academy, uh, which is a very cool uh, private school in the Lucas area. And the reason we have Jasmine with us, and I'll, I'll intro her in just one more second, is we're constantly hearing from families in the deep area right now that are considering making the move that they're thinking about school differently. So we thought it would be great. Uh, to have an educator and, and someone who's having sort of the educational part of those conversations on to share with our audience. So welcome, Jasmine. Well, thank you, Todd. I'm glad to be here with you today. Yeah, and to be able to share a little bit about our school with you, with you and your guests. I love it. And I, I, I must say my kids would be upset with me for calling you Jasmine. They would tell me that I have to call you Mrs. Bayless. So welcome, Mrs. Bayless. <laughs> but but. Um, Jasmine is the head of school at Lucas Christian Academy in Lucas, and I want to talk to you specifically about the school, but also just kind of what you're hearing, seeing, and learning about um, the way at least our area, our region, is starting to think and maybe look into education a little bit differently. So what are, what are you hearing and seeing in regard to that? Not yet specifically about LCA, but more so where people are starting to kind of look at education um, and how they do that and where they do that a little bit different. Do you have a, a, a feel for that? Um, I do. You know, with, with COVID and all the things that have happened and people being able to work uh, remotely, parents are wanting more flexibility uh, with their kids and their kids' education. And so we're seeing kind of, more, you know, families looking at alternative models of schooling. And I'll say we that's as our, our niche is that we're a hybrid model or university model school where our students are there primarily on Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. We do have some upper level uh, math and science classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays for our high school. But it gives families to more time, more flexibility uh, now that their work schedules are more flexible as well. Yeah, we're certainly seeing on our end that, you know, people are in, in a big way moving uh, to the kind of outer edges of the Metroplex, looking for a little bit more land, looking for a little bit larger home. We've been saying this since right when COVID hit, that we, we, we very quickly saw remote work driving a, a different thought about home and school and health. Uh, we've been saying that people used to have a house near their job so they could commute quickly, a gym membership, A lot of people had a storage unit and some people had access to a community pool or club. And now we're seeing a large pop, you know, percentage of the population wanting to have all of that at home, have a pool at the house, have more room for storage at the house, have an office at the house, Um, maybe even a gym or at least a room with some equipment at the house. And so we're seeing areas like the Northeast quadrant of the DFW in a big way, you know, Parker, Lucas, Wiley, Saxe, Murphy, Nevada, Allen um, and and further north even really explode even more than they already were with that type of thinking. So we know a lot more families that are considering homeschooling. We know some folks that just aren't quite as happy with their 
previous school districts, not just because of the COVID impact, but because of some of the changes in education. What, what kind of questions are you, are you fielding on the admission side that you feel are newer, maybe that people weren't asking four or five years ago? Um, that's a good question. Uh, you know, for, for us, as, as you're talking about real estate, I think what I have noticed in the last few admission cycles is a number of families who are um, moving in from out of state. Um, you know, this last cycle, we've actually had several new families come in for January from out of state. And one of the things they want to know is kind of what is our mission and, and what is our heart as a school? And it really is to partner with our Christ-centered families to educate and develop fully equipped disciples. Like that is our heart. That is our mission. And that's what they're looking for. So they want, you know, a school that is, you know, we, Lucas Christian Academy. We're Christian. We're unapologetically Christian. We're not just Christian in name name only. So that's kind of the what they're looking for. They're looking for that community. Uh, they're looking for our partnership and a school that embraces truth. And so we're just seeing more of that now. Just families who are really looking for that, for somebody to, a school to partner alongside them and their families and their churches to develop their, to educate and develop their kids and to equip disciples. Well, and what I love about that, and I don't think it's much of a secret, our, our kiddos go to LCA and, and we're, we're fairly new, you know, we're in our second semester there and absolutely loving it. And one of the things that intrigued me, and, and we get a lot of questions about this as well, is I think people consider private school to be, you know, extraordinarily expensive and just a massive commitment. And we found the blended model to be really, really neat and, you know, relatively affordable. And we've loved the athletics as well. So when you talk about developing, you know, kiddos, as Warriors for Christ or as fully equipped disciples, that's beyond just academics, correct? That is correct. We we pride ourselves on, you know, that we talk about our four pillars, our academics, um, our athletics. We have a, a blooming arts program that's thriving and also develop our students as, as student leaders, as servant leaders. Um, so those kind of make up the kind of our, our four pillars of our school. And we want to see our kids grow uh, and flourish in all of those areas because we know God has uniquely gifted each and every one of them in different areas. Yeah, and and I think obviously for, for selfish reasons, you know, those hit our values as a family, uh, as, as Christ followers, as, as folks that live in the area. Generally speaking, what are you seeing as far as the shift in the overall kind of educational landscape. I'll, I'll, I'll tee you up even better if I can. What we're seeing um, are, are folks that are more willing than ever to, to either ask for or demand uh, more from their schools, from teachers, from school boards, from school districts. And there, there's some polarization there. You know, I think some people think that's wonderful. Some people think it's not the parent's right or obligation to get involved. Again, somewhat aside from LCA, just broadly, what, where do you see those trends moving? Am I seeing it correctly, or are we getting that feedback accurately, do you think? I think you are. Parents are, you know, I think for a while, they're, we've, especially in this area, where we've been kind of, I would say, lulled into a complacency about education, because especially in this, this quadrant of Collins County, are, we have excellent schools. I think what we're seeing now is that there's just things that are being taught that might be contrary to uh, values that are being taught at home. And that's becoming more apparent. And I think we're seeing more families looking for um, alternate options like LCA, like other uh, private schools in the area, because they want to find a community and an education model that, that supports the values that they're teaching at home. Right, right. And, and, you know, that's what we keep hearing. For, we, we help a lot of families move here from out of state. So it's intriguing that you were talking about enrollment or at least, uh, you know, curiosity about registration and enrollment coming from out of state. We're helping, you know, dozens and dozens of people every year move from West Coast, East Coast, uh, Midwest. Um, and so many of them are asking about um Private school is usually how they ask, you know, what are the options? How are the public schools? How are the private schools? And we have the opportunity to tell them that there's a third option. You know, there's uh, certainly a private school model, but sort of a blended model of like a university style with a faith-based 
element with a, a broad spectrum of enrichment, academic, athletic, and beyond. And it's exciting to have LCA and, like you said, other great academic institutions in the area to offer people because there is no one size fits all in almost any area of life, especially education. So if, if folks wanted to reach out and get more information specifically about LCA, two things. Number one, literally, where can they go? How can they get in touch? And then second part, what are some of your favorite things for people to know about LCA? Okay, so the easiest way to get in touch is to go to our website, so lucaschristianacademy.com. There's lots more information about our school on there. We have some upcoming admissions meetings next week. Um, so that's really the way to get uh, more information about it. So um, my favorite thing, and I have been a parent here for 11 years. So I have a I have two girls. I have a senior this year. So we've been a part of this community for a long time. So not just in, in this role, but as a parent. And what I love most about it is the is the community. On, honestly, it is the other parents coming alongside me and my kids and speaking words of life and truth into them. So it's not just me. You know, sometimes as a parent, you know, we may say something, but it just doesn't get heard. But if somebody else says it, it gets heard in like a fresh new way. And so that's what I have loved about it. I've loved the friendships that my kids have developed. And for me as well. So there's a family that we've known that we started in first grade together and we go on vacations together. Um, so uh, it, it has been, this community has been a blessing to my family and also to me and in the encouragement and in, in my faith, in my own personal faith walk. I love it. And, and I'll, I'll just confess to you that um, at the admissions meeting where, when we attended, we really, we're not thinking we were going to do this. We were not thinking that we were going to send our kiddos there. We were checking it out. And I, 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 told, I leaned over and told my wife, because I'm, I'm a marketing and sales guy. Uh, I said, I don't, I don't know that they realize what a sales pitch this is, but it's one of the best I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> it was so good. And when you left the room, the other speakers said, I don't know if you guys know this, but Jasmine went to Harvard. Uh, and she's leading the way on how we educate your kids. And of course, everybody was like, whoa, Harvard. You know, so that still works. That's still a powerful brand. And it's, it's exciting to have, you know, leaders like you out front being courageous in such a crazy time of, of COVID and of um, varying demands around academics and athletics and literally just, are we in the building or not? And, and you know, this, I've sent you messages as the uh, overly vocal new parent, I'm sure. Um, but we we are loving LCA. We couldn't we couldn't be more of a, a vocal proponent. But we are also tentative. We're careful with people not to impose our values on them. Uh, so just to our friends, our neighbors, and our listeners, if you have interest, um, Jasmine, could you tell folks just a little bit more about what it looks like to get information or apply, or when people can do that? Kind of what that whole process looks like. Uh, sure. So we always invite you to come to reach out to Christy Shellman. She is our admissions coordinator, and she's happy to uh, you know, give you a, a tour of the campus, let you see what the school is like. And then we have our more formal admissions meetings where it's, it's a chance to get more information about the school, meet some of our school leaders. Um, and then, you know, then really to prayerfully consider this is a good fit for your student, for your family. Um, and then to, you know, there's, there's, certain steps on our admissions, there's an application, the testing, of course. So kind of all, the, all those things. Yeah. And, and, and when we're telling people about it, we just say we have found this really unique, um, true to God's word, unapologetically true to the Bible, not so much a denomination or tradition, but the word of God. Um, and in a, in a rigorous academic setting that creates some balance of us taking full responsibility for parenting, educating, leading, and discipling our kiddos, but an incredible environment of gifted leaders that are helping us do that now, where we didn't, we didn't always feel that way in the past. You know, they were great teachers and coaches, but they didn't necessarily share our values or see us as the primary leader. I think at times there's folks who are somewhat at odds with the educational system, feeling like they're sort of battling against teachers and administrators where the partnership at a place like LCA is really, really exciting. So 
Folks, you can go to lucaschristianacademy.com. That's lucaschristianacademy.com. Lots of great information there. In the very, very near future, like the next week, uh, there are meetings you can attend and tours you can take. Uh, would encourage you to do that, even if you uh, are not sure or not certain that that's something you want to do. But if you're interested, check it out. And if you're not interested in, in an environment like LCA, you know, we, we believe as real estate professionals that the home is an incredible piece, but not the whole piece of the way you lead and protect and resource and provide for a family. It is the environment where we have meals and invest in marriages and kiddos. But, you know, school is where our kids spend a lot of time. And if we're involved, it's where we spend a lot of time. So um, be discerning. Um, take, take an active role. Um, we, we share that value with lots of our clients and friends and neighbors. So if we can ever be a resource to you, there are some limitations due to our real estate licenses, what we can say and not say, but we'd love to resource you with things like this and interviews like this. So hopefully this has been really valuable. We really, really appreciate your time, uh, Mrs. Bayless, and um, we'd love to have you back again sometime if you'd like to. Okay, great. Thank you very much for inviting me today. Thank you so much. We'll talk to you soon.